Hello, today I am going to be talking about five things you should know before your first live sports production in college. And just to be clear, um, these are my own things that I think would have helped me to know for my first live production. Um, this is not a be all, say all thing at all. I'm not a complete professional. These are just things that could have helped me. So the first thing that I think you should know, and should be common sense, is to be professional and be respectful. Now, this is a job that you can have fun doing. Now, this is a job that you can have fun doing, but you still need to know when to buckle down, completely focus, and be as professional be respectful to everybody around you, um, director for sure. Respect your higher ups, respect every all the other employees. Just be generally professional and read the room because if there is a situation where you need to be completely on top of everything, if there's like a really important moment in a production you need to be focusing but if there is even the slightest bit of lull in the production or you can be a little more relaxed and there's a little bit more maybe chit chat going on maybe don't mm -mm, not always always err on the side of professionalism always be respectful to everybody on the production whether they are your higher-ups or PAs or anything like that because you never know who can be trading spots and they're human be nice the second thing that I have is to ask more questions than you think you need the answer to before you go live I already took this to heart before I even started that job because but it's a really good thing to do um it saves you from a lot of mistakes and issues during the production itself um ask every single thing you could possibly think of that you think you would need to know and maybe even more um just so you know everything what does this button do? What should I do if this happens? What does this thing do? What should I do in this situation? Everything that you can think of, you might need to know. And it is very hard to ask questions when you're in the moment because everybody's busy, everybody's doing their own job and you need to be kind of in your own job because everybody's doing everything else so it's really important to have most of your set ground. And people make mistakes. They do. Um, it happens. Um, it's upsetting. And, but you move on because it's live. You got one chance. It happens. But just ask as many questions as you possibly can think of. All those questions might save you during the production itself. Number three is just a tip that I would give you before your first live sports production is to just watch sports and watch all the games and pay attention to every single detail on there because every single thing that you see on there is done by somebody. Um, every single graphic, every single replay, every single camera switch, the audio you hear, the commercials being played, um, there are people doing all of that. Um, so if you watch the sports before your live production, you can pick out different things that you could be told to do depending on what you are doing on the production. Um, it just helps a lot. You can know typical camera angles. You can know different graphics that could be used. So just watch at least one sports game of whatever you are going to be working before you go do that job because it will help a lot 
in the long run, especially if you don't know sports as well. Coming from somebody that did not know sports very well at all when they came into this job, um, it helps, trust me. But if you do know the sports, it, you're good, it help, but it does help a lot to pay attention to the details if you weren't already paying t attention to the details when you were watching the sports. So number four I have is pay attention. Sports move fast. That Now paying attention, I'm talking about during the production itself. You've gotta be on high alert. A lot of the sports move very fast. For playing graphics, you gotta have the timing right. For replays, you gotta do it really fast before the action starts happening again. Um, timing, timing is really, really important to have a clean production. So paying attention. Don't be on your phone. Don't be on your phone. It's very unprofessional, as I said on number one, but it it blocks out your work. Um, so you're not paying attention. You gotta pay attention and it's very, very fast, quick paced work. So you have to be always alert awake alert alive um, when you're doing this job. Number five, uh, last one is it is a very high stress, high pressure job. Very much so. It is probably one of the most high stress, high pressure jobs you can do because it is, you, you got one shot and if you mess up, you just gotta move on and depending on how big of a mess up you could get fired you could that that is a, a thing that could happen but you you just gotta it's it very like anxiety inducing job but don't let that scare you away from it um it is a lot of fun it is very rewarding when you're when you do really good it can be pretty scary especially for your first one um, if you're thrown into it, if you've never done it before, it can be a little daunting. It's because it's an important job. People are watching everything that you're doing and everybody sees the mistakes that you make. It is a little scary, but it is a very fun job. It is very rewarding especially when people actually do acknowledge your good work. I know production doesn't get a whole lot of recognition for what we do, but it's it's rewarding and you know you did a good job when you did a good job. And I have a lot of fun um, and I'm glad that I went into this field and I hope that your first live sports production does not scare you away from the rest of the ones that you will do. So that's all I have to tell you right now um, for your first live production. You're gonna be scared, but you're gonna be fine. It is going to be okay. You might make a mistake. You might not. But regardless, you go through it and it's there. So yeah, you could leave some comments if you want on other things to leave people other tips if I if you think I missed anything. Um, I know I didn't get too technical. These are kind of just more personal things, I guess. Um, I didn't talk too much about specific camera things or anything like that. I know a lot of the stuff that I said can be turned into other jobs and stuff but it is important here i will see you in my next video i'm not good at talking to a camera bye bye